Good morning everybody and a warm welcome um, to you all. Thank you very much for joining me for this Friday morning assembly. I hope you and your families are all well and the first week of online learning has not been too stressful. It's been great to see the nursery and the key worker children on site. And in today's assembly, in today's assembly, I want to talk to you about two words, respect and responsibility. And before I move on to that part of the assembly, I'd like us to join with Mrs. Johnson for the hymn and one of my favorites, I vow to thee my country. Thank you very much, Mrs. Johnson, and well sung, everybody. As I said, that's one of my favourites. I just absolutely love it. I wonder what these two words mean to us. And here they are. Respect and responsibility. I wonder which people um, we respect most. What responsibilities come with this respect? How do we need to behave ourselves to be respected? To start off with in this assembly, I'm presuming we all respect the following people and professionals. Just have a think about each group. Think about why they are respected and what they do to be respected. Of course, our families, our parents, our parents and carers, have a huge responsibility because they have a massive influence on our lives and they look after us, they guide us, they look after each other, they bring us up, they teach us how to behave, they make sure we're cared for when we become unwell, they make sure we're fed, they make sure we're clothed, all those type of things and they teach us how to behave and how to behave properly. We must listen to their advice which is based on their care for us and their experiences. Do we always act with respect towards them? That's an interesting question. And do we treat other members of our family with respect? Something for you to think about. I thought what I'd do is think about some of the roles and the jobs that are automatically respected in our society. Surgeons, for example. 
They can hold our lives in their hands. This is a tremendous responsibility and we need to have complete trust in their judgment and abilities. The surgeon gains respect for this. Another job is a pilot. People who fly aircrafts have responsibility for making life-saving decisions, often with hundreds of lives depending on them. This is a massive responsibility. So do they deserve our respect? Of course they do. Teachers, and of course we respect our teachers. Hopefully it is because you know you can trust your teachers. They show you respect. And that's really important when an adult's looking after a child. Adults should show, show children respect and that will teach them to respect adults the opposite way. Teachers are willing to spend time helping you to learn new skills. And with trust comes responsibility. Another group that we all must respect is the police. Police officers are responsible for ensuring that we are safe on our streets and in our homes. Sometimes they have to put their own lives at risk and make fast decisions that affect the lives of others. We see that in the news on a daily basis. Many people respect the job that the police do. Such respect brings great responsibility. What happens when this trust is broken? Thoughtless actions can lead to a loss of respect. All of these people could cause harm if they did not take their responsibility seriously and treat those in their care with respect. Likewise, we owe these people respect for the way they live and behave. Here are a few questions for you to think about. Talk through them with someone. What do you think are the most important ways to behave so that, so that you are respected? What can we do to earn respect each day? So do people respect me? How do people see me? At home. How do your parents see you? How do your brothers and sisters see you? How do your teachers see you in lessons? How do you act in your registration period? When you're in the community, say on a bus or in the local area? Around school? How do you act with the other members of staff? With Mrs Bagley in the office? Or with Mrs Foley and her team, Mr Johnson, Mr Dougherty and the ground staff, the bursar. Have a think and if you want to send me your ideas about what you can do to earn respect, please do just email me. I'd love to read what you think. Is there anything you would change about the way you behave because you think actually I could be respected more if I behaved in this way. What springs to your mind? What I think about is that your behaviour, how you think of others and how you treat everyone, whether you listen carefully, whether you follow through on what you say you're going to do, they all make a difference. Listening is a big part of this. If you listen to other people, you will be respected. Think carefully about what people say to you. And please understand, respect cannot be learned, purchased or acquired. It can only be earned. Please listen carefully to today's prayer. Dear Lord, respect is a word that we often hear but do not always fully understand. 
Teach us how to earn the respect of those around us by doing what is good and right. Help us to exercise the responsibility that comes with this respect and to treat people with kindness, fairness and honesty. Amen. Amen. Many thanks you two, Ebby and Ananda. We had a, a few goes at that yesterday, but we managed to get there at the end. Thank you for taking part. And if any of you would like to take part in one of my assemblies, please let me know. I know often people talk about doing presentations. Um, I would love for you to get in touch with me and I'll be able to um, think about how I can work that into my assembly programme. Work hard today, everyone, and enjoy the weekend when you get there. Look forward to seeing you on Monday. All the best.